Welcome everyone. In this session, we will do YOLO V7 segmentation training with our custom data. We are going to refer this uh, RoboFlow notebook for execution. So, um, I have created a condo environment in my local system for YOLO V7. So, there uh, we have to clone this YOLO V7 repository and we have to check out the specific uh, branch for this segmentation training. Once they have downloaded, they, all the dependencies will be installed. Um, then we have to download the pre-trained way for this segmentation. Then um, they're downloading the data from RoboFlow, but we are going to create from ourselves. One of the use case for the agriculture robot is to segment crop free and path. Based on that, it will navigate through this field. I'm going to use label me to create a uh, labels for the images. You open the label me, then we'll go for uh, particular folder we have downloaded. So these are the images we already downloaded. Here we are going to uh, create a segmentation for the path area as well as the crop area. I have done all the segmentation, so I'll go to this folder. So here we have already done the labels for all the images. So this this is uh, labeled as uh, path. So this labeled as crop. So we have to create a say polygon. Then we create the points. Once the polygon is closed, it will ask for um, label so we have to mention what is the label for that particular selected area so once we have done um, it will be created a json file we have done for all the images so for each image file it will create a particular json file then um, we are going to use another uh, library to convert them into YOLO format. So this is the format required for the training. Uh, test will have uh, images and corresponding labels and train will have images and labels and valid will have images and labels. Data.yaml will have contains the um, details for what is the train images, what are the test images. All the details will be in the YAML file. So we'll uh, do the conversion with this um, library, label me to YOLO 7 segmentation. I have downloaded these two Python file in my local. Once we are downloaded, we'll execute this Python file I have renamed the main.py as label me segmentation.py and we have to give uh, what is the source path and what is the output path. So once we execute this command, we'll get all the annotations like each image will have the text file as a label. And it will create a folder structure like images and labels. So images will have a test. These are the test images and train images. And labels will be uh, corresponding labels on the uh, corresponding folders. But uh, as mentioned earlier, um, we need this folder structure like train, test, and valid. So we'll convert them uh, So we'll convert these two folder into these three folders like test, 
Im train and well like, like train will have uh, images and labels and each well will have images and labels and uh, instead of uh, data dot yaml file here we have a product dot yaml file so if you see this for uh, this is the uh, labels and these are the number of labels and this is the train image path and this is the validation image path so once we created this uh, data set we will execute the train command here uh, we have to give what is the patch size and epochs and the data as well as pre-train weight and device you have if you have a gpu will execute the command uh, in our uh, conda environment so we already in the yolo v7 with environment and we'll execute the train command here uh, i have mentioned uh, two iteration for this demo we have already trained with around 200 epoch we'll start this command Okay, training has completed. Inside the weight, we'll get the trained model here. We already have a model with trained with 200 epochs, and we are going to use that model for our inference. For inference, we have to uh, execute uh, this command that predict by, and we have to give the weight which we have trained now and source this. Uh, we have a folder or files you have to mention. Okay, it is protected and so these are the output. So this is predicted this as a path and this is a crop. This is the path and this is the path. So based on this output, uh, we can uh, the direction to the robot to move thank you